the components required for this experiment are servo motors, ESP32 board, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the Arduino IoT Cloud website. Click sign in here. Enter the username and password here and click on the sign in button here. Now go to Things menu. Here click Create Thing. Here rename this thing. Click on the rename button and give the name. Now click on the add button and add two variables and give the name, name for the variable owner servo1 and select the variable type as integer. Here no need to change these default options and click on the add variable button. Now click add button again and add the second variable and this variable name is servo2. And here also select the variable type as integer. So these options are selected by default and click on the add variable button. Now click select device and here we need to select set up new device and then select third party device. Here we are using ESP32 board so select this and select the model as ESP32 DAO module. Now click continue and here we can give any name. Now click next and here we need to copy the secret key. Then select this checkbox and click on the continue button and now click done. Now you need to configure the network. So click this configure button and here enter the Wi-Fi username and Wi-Fi password and paste the secret key which we copied and click save button. Now go back to the menu and click on the dashboard. So here click create dashboard. Here also we can rename the dashboard like we did for the things. Now we can add the widgets. So here we can control the output by two different ways. So one is by entering the numeric value and another one is through the slider. So click on this value button and here link the variable. We can link the first variable servo1. Click link variable. Here also we can give any name. And click on the done button. Now add the second one. Here link the servo2 variable and click link variable button. Here also we can give any name and click done. Now we can add the sliders. So we can add two sliders. The first one is for the servo motor 1. Here also link the variable and select servo 1. Click link variable button and here click done. Here we can give the maximum value as 180. Now add the second slider. Here link the servo to variable and here click the link variable button. Here give the name as slider 2. Here also give the maximum value as 180 degree and click on done button. We can add two more widgets to check the output position of the servo motors. So go to add. Here add the gauge widgets. 
here select the variable as servo1 for the motor1 and give the name as servo output1. and give the maximum value as 190 and click done. Now add one more gauge for the servo motor 2. Here also link the variable servo 2. Click on the link variable button and give the name as servo output 2. Here also the maximum value will 180 degree and click on the done button. Now we, can, we have added the widgets. Now go back to the menu and go to things. Here click on the thing control servo motor. And go to sketch and here open full editor. So we need to make sure the agent is installed. So if it is not installed, we need to install the agent. So click land more. Here we can click install the agent. So click on the start button. Here download for Win64 if your machine is 64 bit. Now the agent is downloaded. Now double click and install the agent. So click on the yes button. So click next here. Again click next. And click finish. Now the agent is installed. So here click on the next button and here click go to web editor. Now the basic template is generated and now we need to add the logic for the servo motors. select this device and here select this port and here we need to select the model ESP32 DAW module. Now click this arrow button and upload the program to, to the ESP32 board. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. We can also check the output from the mobile. So for that download the IoT remote application from the Play Store. Now once you open the application you can see the thing which we created in the Arduino IoT cloud website. So click on that thing and here we can see the widget. Now we can check the output. We can check the output by two different ways. We can pass the numeric value and we can check the movement of the servo motor. Also we can adjust these two sliders and based on this value in the sliders the servo motors will rotate.